Defending punches can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be complicated. Today I want to go over three concepts to help you defend and counter. I'm Rolando Haddad from GetSelfDefense.com and today we're going to look at uh, funneling punches, parrying punches, and shelling for punches. Guys, I can't emphasize how fighting is really all about managing distance and understanding where you are relative to, to that person. So let's talk about that a little bit when we are separated, when we're not in a clinch or we're not in a grappling situation, I still have to manage distance, right? So it, it's not all the same. So if I'm really kind of far away, we're outside of kicking range, outside of striking range, I can be a little bit more relaxed with what I do with my hands. I still have to be aware that he can close that distance quickly. So I don't want to be doing stupid things like having my hands down here, where then I have to try to read a kick or read, read something coming up here. I want to be in, in, in such a way that it's very easy for me to go from here to here, from here to high covers, whatever it is that the situation dictates I do. So the first thing again, if, I'm, if we're working this distance, I can have my hands in this funnel. I use the term funnel because I'm literally wanting him, I'm, I'm trying to bring the punches into my funnel. Right? I'm trying to do that so I can kind of hand fight, I can do things. As he throws that punch here, right? I can then set strikes up. So he does this, I can come here, pitch to the side and drive a knee. So I've got, again, I'm, I'm baiting him, I'm wanting this to happen. As we start getting closer, this has to come in a little bit tighter. Now, if I have enough distance, this is okay, because now he throws it in, I can still parry punches pretty effectively, right? So I still have time to read because he is basically one step away from me. So it's like one step to close distance. I can read that, right? So I can still read an attack because he has to close. So I start seeing what he's doing and I can, I can decide to parry. Even if I make a mistake, throw a right cross, and I parried the wrong way, my hands are still up. I, I was still able to deflect that punch. What I never want to do is chase things, right? So I'm keeping my hands up. Now, as distance closes, as distance closes, now I'm going to have to bring everything in really, really tight. And if he's striking when we're close, I just need to be in my shell or my high covers. Now, here's the thing about shells and high covers. Shells and high covers are only going to be a very brief moment in time. And the only reason I'm doing that is to keep him from breaking my posture so that I can counter. So I don't ever want to shell and do this kind of stuff because I can't counter. If I'm going to shell, I'm here so that I can then start working off of his strikes. I'm going to time it, I'm going to watch what he's doing, and then I'm going to counter strike. So that's, uh, again, how to be aware of your distance and what do I do with my hands at different distances. Guys, if you like that video and want more, go to GetSelfDefense.com. We'll send you every Tuesday tutorial we have, completely free. We'll see you guys there.